and good morning everybody Silas here today got my truck locked up I am at an auction we're gonna walk around see what we can find <coughs> what can we find today that's kind of cool not that old though Belt buckles galore. A little bit on the chilly side today, but it's gonna warm up. Fishing tackle. Need some marbles? Bunch of marbles. Oh, here we go. License plates. This is mostly household type stuff in here. This consignment sale doesn't look like it's quite as big as the last one I came to, the last general consignment anyway. He does multiple types of auctions out here. He does general consignment, which is this, which is you just bring anything and everything. He does antique consignment where it's just antiques or he does kind of like estate sales where they'll just sell everything you have. Like if you're liquidating your estate or whatever. This is Morris Yoder Auctions is the name of the company. Great people. I go to a lot of their auctions. Never had any issues with them at all. Plus they let me film their auctions and they don't complain about it, so I really appreciate that. That's cool. I've got a couple of those, but not that nice. Oh, that's a real neat one there. That's one of those two bottom plows that actually works. All the levers and everything work on it. Don't see those too often. The problem I'm gonna have at the sale is like I would bid on that, I would bid on those license plates, but they're gonna have four or five rings running at once. And one ring's gonna come in here in this building and they'll probably start back there in that corner. So they'll be in here for a long time before they get to anything that I would wanna bid on. But they're also gonna have all this stuff out here. Now this stuff won't sell till this afternoon, I'm sure. It never does. They've got all these trailers over here. They'll probably have a ring on each row of these trailers. That's what they did last time anyway. Like I say, this one isn't, I don't know if it's quite as big as the last one. Here we go. Ford truck emblems, probably out of the mid 60s I'm guessing. Oh, that one's broken, so. See stuff like that, if I'm standing there, I'll bid on it, but if I'm not, I'm not gonna go out of my way to try to be at this ring, because uh, I don't need water softeners and toilets. But I can pretty much guarantee you everything on that trailer is not going to go for a whole lot of money. These trailers like this one is going to take a long time to go through this. There's a lot of stuff on here. Actually, I don't know this. This consignment sale seems like it has less big stuff, but it does have a lot of trailers of stuff, so I don't know. Here we go. A bunch of cans. So see, this would be one I would probably want to be here to bid on this one. You guys know I use these cans a lot. Of course, I didn't use them that much this year. Not as much as usual. This old fender's kind of neat, too. But then a bunch of stuff that I wouldn't be interested in. Neat old telephone. That one's probably authentic, too. Yeah, that's, that's the real deal there. That's not one of the reproduction knockoffs. Binoculars. And trail cameras. Hard telling if they're any good or not. I need a couple trail cameras, but I've got some already just for security purposes. But I'd like to get some that are a little bit better quality so I can actually make content with them. Boy, back in the day, I used to sell this type of stuff all the time on eBay. I love selling that stuff. Don't do that so much anymore. Batteries. And water coolers. You know, honestly, I'm not seeing as much cool stuff as the last one I came to. I think it was, it was, was it July or August? I don't remember when the last general consignment sale was I came to, but I bought quite a bit of stuff at that one. What do we got here? Oh, that's cool. Like a little Coleman camp stove of some sort. Old PlayStation. Haven't seen one of those in years. But yeah, I bought quite a bit of stuff at the last sale, and I wanted to buy more, but I was just running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I couldn't make it to everything. There we go. That's a couple good pieces. And there was just no way I could bid on everything I wanted, so I missed out on a lot of stuff, but I still bought a ton of stuff. 
See, this here is not a bad trailer. It's got some hood ornaments over here. What is that? Sh Chevy? I think it's a Chevy. I'm not sure what that is. That looks like maybe a Buick or it's GM, I think, but I don't know. Oh, here's a radio delete. Chevy truck. Bunch of hubcaps. I think this is the last trailer here. A bunch of old lanterns. A couple Tonkas. These are neat. But onward and out. Let's go walk around over here so we can find in this area. Then maybe we'll get some breakfast. I am a little bit on the hungry side. Didn't have time to get anything at the house. Woke up a little bit late this morning. Of course, I was up super late last night, so I guess that's what happens. You know, honestly, this time I'm not seeing nearly as much stuff I want to bid on, so that takes a load of stress off of me of trying to run around in circles and bid on everything. I tried getting people to come help me today, but everybody's busy doing other stuff. I was even trying, I was offering to pay them too, but everybody was just super busy, lots of stuff going on. I think my dad's going to come out for a little bit, but he probably won't stay long. Oh my, look at this thing here. That is a dinosaur. That's a beast. There's a guy that has an equipment device. Oh, I need that. I need that to get in my semi-trailer. That is perfect. So I'll have to try to make sure I'm over here when that's selling. There's a bicycle. Looks like a Raleigh. Oh, Western Flyer. I don't have my glasses on and it's kind of dark. It's a London Flyer. It's got a neat rack on the back of it, but probably a three-speed hub that's worth couple bucks but that's probably about it yeah let's think there's license plates those cans a few car parts in that trailer the steps maybe that bicycle that's all I've really seen so far but we'll keep looking who knows what else there is and you always miss stuff the first time you go through I came out here to his antique consignment here not too long ago that was here oh, three weeks ago four weeks ago something like that I think it was three weeks ago and I bought a whole truckload of really cool stuff. That sale wasn't nearly as big as this one. I bought a whole bunch of these at that sale, so I guess I'll have to try to bid on these too. Oh, there we go. That's cool. My son would love that, so we'll have to see about that too. Like I say, they don't usually get out to this stuff until either late, late morning or afternoon. This is neat. That's old. Looks like an ice box of some sort. It's really neat though, whatever it is. I don't really deal in furniture anymore though, so I'll let another antique dealer have that one. There's always a boatload of dealers at these auctions like this because, I mean, the stuff doesn't bring retail for sure. Some stuff does. Some stuff goes for high dollar. A lot of this stuff, though, there's so much stuff and there'll be so many rings going on that it'll be hard for everybody to be everywhere at once and so that's why dealers miss out on deals and other dealers can get some pretty good deals and watch there's only a few things that i want attention on the grounds for all the help auction crew help clerks auctioneers ring men in front of the garage but anyway i was saying you watch it there's only a few things i want to bid on and they're still going to be selling them all at the same time <laughs> just the way it goes sometimes Bunches of furniture at this one. There wasn't nearly as much furniture at the last one. And there's money in that. Just, you gotta pick your battles. Can't do it all. And back before I was doing YouTube, I would definitely be bidding on furniture, but now I got YouTube kind of takes up that, that time that I spent doing that. This little house is neat. Little playhouse. Lawnmowers, weed eaters, nothing I need. Yeah, there's not nearly as much big stuff this time. This was packed out three rows deep, or two rows deep at least last time. But the summer consignment, spring and summer consignments are always bigger than the, the fall consignment. This little doodle bug is kind of funky. Chevrolet cowl. Kind of interesting, that's for sure. Huh. Yamaha. This is a nice little bike. It's even got the matching green helmet. Huh. 
That's a neat little buck. Mini X. They came and dug up the gas line in my backyard years ago, about three, four years ago, and they parked a Mini X, a cat in the backyard, and I have cat keys, and I had a couple stumps I needed to dig out, and I almost borrowed it because they left it in my backyard for like three weeks <laughs> and didn't touch it, didn't touch it, so they were awful trusting. I almost borrowed it and used it, but I thought for sure I would break something, and as honest as I am, I'd, I'd want to pay for it, and I didn't have the money to pay for it, so I let it sit and didn't touch it. Yanmar. I've got a big Yanmar at the yard. This is a, this is a Ford 600 here. Everybody always wants me to show them the tractors, so I usually skip over the tractors, but I'll show you guys the tractors. Some newer stuff here. Old Ford. Quaker Alice Chalmers. Little road grader. This is kind of cute. Little itty bitty road grader. This would make a nice yard ornament right here. I mean, I'm sure it's going to go for more than that. It's This is probably a nice usable unit. But if it was rough, this would make a good yard art piece here just because it's so small. But I bet it brings pretty good money because it looks like it's a working unit. And when you need one of those, you need one of those. That's for sure. I don't see any old vehicles of this one. There's that red Ford pickup over there, but that's about it. And then we got this tandem axle grain truck here c65 it looks like a pretty nice truck what year is this one 1977 that's pretty clean for a 77 well taken care of probably always parked in the shed man the doors even shut good we'll take a quick jaunt down this road just look at these real quick just so you guys can see what's here. Max D trailer. I tried to talk Max D into doing some sort of sponsor work with me on a nice 36 foot hydraulic dovetail trailer that I was wanting and they weren't interested. So I talked to another company and they made me a really good deal. So it looks like I'm, I'm still gonna keep my Max D, my 20 footer, but my 36 footer is gonna be a different brand. It should be here. It'll be here by the time this video comes out, I'm sure. This old pickup here is the only oldish well i guess there's a, another one over there but we'll look at this one first looks like just an old work truck if it runs good i bet it brings around 1500 to 2000 what is this jaguar convertible kind of an interesting car huh kind of on the rough side though I doubt it brings a whole lot of money. These aren't a very desirable or valuable car anyway. I bought that Ford van, that three quarter ton or one ton van, whatever it was at that last sale. And uh, that guy's still using that thing. That's, that was a pretty good van. I just didn't have a use for it, but he enjoys it. Nothing I can't live without. Yeah, I'm pretty convinced he has more trailers this time of stuff, but not as much big stuff. Here's an old Chevy pickup bed trailer over here. Check it out. I'm number 112, I believe. So if you hear 112, you know I bought it. It looks pretty rotted, which is good for me because what I want to do with it is cut it up. For our, oh, it's got the light duty rear bumper on it. It's a little bit tweaked, but it's still a fairly valuable piece. But yeah, it's just a rock box, so this is perfect for cutting up for furniture. I guess we'll check out this one. I'm guessing this is a Mazda or Datsun or something like that it is a oh, Toyota everybody laughs at the way I say Toyota I brought my drone with me so we'll get some drone shots of this I'll probably I might get a few flyovers now but I'll probably wait till the auctions really ripping and roaring before I get any serious footage I did grab a second number just in case I need to have somebody bid on something for me but I doubt I'll be able to find anybody but I know a lot of people at the auctions, so I'm sure if there's only one item, I can talk someone into bidding on it for me. <laughs> well, that's neat. Extended cab even. With hatchets? Huh. And with that, I'm going to get some drone shots. Then we're going to switch over to the other camera as soon as the auction starts.
Absolute pure chaos out here right now. Pandemonium. This is so much fun now. Lots of good deals. If you're able to go to an auction like this, you just don't want to miss it. Just one. Take the Chevy emblem. Choice on any stack of the hubcap. Buy the stack, take your pick on. Silver, $60. $60 on number 249 249 Thanks. One deal. 25 I got 20 bid. 25 How about 25 I don't know. 25 Yeah, you the winner. $20. $120. I'll do one. One, one. One, you want. one deal. Just one. Just one? Make two piles. Put those over there and we'll do these over here. We're going to make you two piles. Take this one or that one. Huh? $20 choice. $20, 112, $20, 112, times two. Take both the piles. There's one in the box, too. Now I get it. I would have been right here. Choice on these three deals. $5, $7.50. It's five. It was another box. Oh, time toys. Now we got five. $7.50 now. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $
One one two. One one two. The youngest choice item or box. You tell me pop up there. Five dollar on Yeah, back here. Five dollar on five on seven. Five dollar on seven fifty. Five dollar on seven fifty. Five dollar on seven ten. Fifteen dollar on four nine. Ten four nine fifteen. Fifteen on seven. Fifteen dollar on seven ten. Fifteen dollar on seven. Fifteen dollar on seven eight. So fifteen bucks. I'll take the, the wooden blocks. This is what I just bought for 15 bucks. Normally I wouldn't pay that much for wooden blocks, but these are all Disney blocks. And so I thought maybe they're worth more. I'm kind of gambling on them. I didn't have a chance to look them up. But, uh, oh, that one's not Disney. It's still kind of neat though. A bunch of these are Disney blocks. If you are parked in the front row, all the way down by the road, by the driveway, you're driving a F-150 for a red bumper full trailer. There's also a black two fifty full of black bumper pull trailers. You both need to move, that way people can get in and out. Thank you. On the side. You tell me a choice one, you tell me you got a little bottom here. Two dollar on two dollar three, three dollar on three, she got three, dollar on three, three 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 dollar
We got this little bitty old drill press here. When would you need to drill that big of a hole? There's times. There's times. Hey, it works all the way, guys. I have no idea. You will put your prices in. What do you better get? Twenty five hundred. Then a twenty five hundred. I'm gonna hit another five hundred dollars. Uh, are those the bits for it? Hey, we're gonna put the bits right in there with it. The bits go with it. All of it goes for one money. And the safety goggles. All of it now. A five hundred. Five hundred bit. It'll weigh that much in scrap, won't it? I got 250, 250, and I 650. Give it a 75 pound, but it ain't gonna all in and all day. It's 650. and that'll be buyer number 392. 392 is the buyer. And go again, seven high. down, seven down, seven down, seven You wanna get seven there you go, he's gonna fire this guy. He's got it running. Oh yeah, Roach drove it in. Hey guys, we have a good little Yamaha. You gotta help yourself on another good one. You got her right here, 2500. Title is in the trailer. You guys have, once your title today, you gotta pay with cash or credit card, otherwise we'll mail it to you in about 10 days. Hey, help yourself. You got her right here, 1500. There'd be a good work truck. I'm a fifteen hundred on a good one. Hit him a fifteen. Him a fifteen hundred dollar. Him a three four. Yeah, hey. helmet and all. Hit him five six. Hit him a six hundred now seven. Hit him a seven hundred. Will you hit him a six here now seven? Hit him eleven hundred dollar. There. Hit him a ten here and eleven. Will you? Hit him eleven here and eleven hundred dollars. You see it? So thousand dollars on him right there. Four eight zero. We got lot number twenty nine. You got it out of gear. I can show you how to start it. All right, you pull all four of them knobs. Like an airplane taking off. Pull all four knobs. Hey, this guy brought it in. He's running around in here. This thing works. Purrs like a kitten. It's a 1929 Chevy International Doodle Bug. International plate is inside underneath, and the Chevrolet deal is on the front. They call it a, the, the little bitty one over on that, clear up on top. There you the little bitty. Ah! Whoa! Another one. Oh, you said it's a shitty. <laughs> yeah, I tapped it. Might have to tap. You got a pliers, buddy? You tap on that deal a little bit, and it's real fire. I think everybody... <laughs> <laughs> Everybody would like to hear it run. Hang on. There you have it. It's running. There you go. Take, give it a whirl. I think and if you go to the master parade ready piece. If you go to the Reno County Tag Office, they'll love you in there. <laughs> they'll love you. If you if, try to get this one tagged, yeah. Yeah, you don't need a tag. No, you don't need a tag. All it's a tractor. Is, it's a tractor. Yeah, SMV on the back. He yep. said it goes just under 50 miles an hour. 
<laughs> but I don't know if I'd do that with this tire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he got her on him right there. Nice doodle bug. Help yourself. Be him a 3500. Hit him a 3500. Oh, well, him a three here, not three and three here, not three thousand dollar. Hit him a three here, not thousand dollar. Hit him a twelve and a half here, not thousand dollar. Twelve fifty. Oh, oh. Hit him a fifteen hundred. Will you? Hit him a fifteen seventeen. No. Hit him a two here, not two and two here, not two thousand dollar. Go ahead. Hit him a seventeen and a half here, not two. Hit him a two eighteen. I'm at eighteen hundred down two. Hit him a two twenty two. Hit him a two and a half here, not twenty two fifty. Hit him a two thousand dollar. Hit him a twenty one. Hit him a twenty one. Over two thousand dollars, two fifty five, two fifty five. the orange trailer they sold it right before i got there i couldn't see through that box that white box trailer that's there and i was waiting to see when the ring got over there and i was bidding on a bicycle that i didn't even get and they sold that trailer while i was bidding on that bicycle so i guess i should have went over there instead i don't think it brought a whole lot of money but oh well it is what it is i'm never going to get my truck in here so i'm thinking i'm going to go go ahead and uh, try to wheel 
these steps out to my truck I don't think they'll be that heavy so we'll see what happens oh yeah easy breezy there we go the auction's still going on but I'm done bidding got everything loaded up and strapped down looks a little bit sketchy but that's okay I didn't want to come back for a second load the original plan was is I was gonna buy that Chevy truck bed trailer and throw all the wheels in there and come back and get it next week but such is life we have got quite the load in here a lot of this stuff that's in here is just going to be scrap. I mean, there's a bunch of scrap in this load. I kind of wish I would have left some of it behind. That way I'd have more room for these wheels, but it is what it is. So like this tub here, there's a ton of just junk in there. I mainly bought this for what's left of this old, uh, whatchamacallit here that I have a tire sitting on top of. That's nice, but uh, there's not that much pressure. It'll be all right. And there's a whole bunch of this double walled stove pipe. I don't know if I'll need that or not. I probably won't. I probably should have just junked it, but left it behind, I mean, but oh well. And there's just a bunch of totes and boxes of stuff in here that's just just trash. Here's something here. I bought it on camera, but it was in this bag. It's a steering wheel off a of 70s GM. I think I gave 30 or 40 bucks for that. And about a hundred and some dollar piece. So not too bad. I overpaid on this uh, digger bu bucket thing right here. But uh, my kids will love that. So that'll be okay on that. I bought that to keep. I bought the uh, winch truck to keep. I think I put it inside the cab. I got my cab full. Oh, it's buried way down in there. I'll have to show it to you guys later. I bought those two pieces to keep. And I think there was one more thing I bought to keep, but I don't remember what it was now. Or maybe it was something I bid on but didn't get. Oh, the stairs. Yeah, the stairs. I'm keeping those. I need those bad. I probably paid too much. I almost stopped bidding on them. And then I got to thinking, I'm never going to build my own. These are already done. I'll never have time to do it. So I might as well just spend a little bit extra and buy them already done. Only thing I had to have somebody else bid on me for was these cans. My dad bought those. I think he gave five bucks a piece for those. So... Other than that, I was able to bid on everything I wanted except for that orange trailer. I still can't believe I missed that, but it is what it is. Can't win them all. Yeah, I'm going to have to take this back. I'll go through it later. A lot of the stuff in these tubs, like I say, is just going to be pure junk that I'll just throw in a car and crush. So I'll be able to reduce this down pretty quickly. Plus, obviously, all the wheels are going to be scrap. I'll throw those in my scrap wheel pile. I definitely overpaid on most of those. Some of them I got a good deal on, but uh, there was a guy bidding on them that I... Uh, have a few disagreements with I'll just put it that way and so I figured well rather than let him have them for five bucks I would just go ahead and run them up to what I could get out of them well, it looks like I am done getting ready to pay now place your bets what do you think I spent I have no clue what I spent so let me know in the comments now and we'll see how accurate you guys are and we are headed out everybody's squeezing in and out at the same time it's a tight fit but everybody loading up at once I was glad my dad was here this morning at least to help me load stuff that saved me a bunch of time this afternoon so I didn't have to load everything at once there goes that old 77 Chevy. That's a really clean truck. But anyway, I spent a grand total of $1,142.36. When they have farm sales, it's considered farm use, and so they don't have to charge sales tax. But a consignment sale, even though it's farm type stuff, they have to charge sales tax. But still, I'm pretty happy. I got a pretty good load. There's a couple things I probably overpaid on a little bit, like those steps, but I'm going to use those steps. And if I didn't buy those steps, every time I had to use a little step stool to climb in and out of that trailer, I'd be upset that I didn't buy those steps. And then that crate full of license plates, I probably overpaid on those. I won't make a whole lot of money on those. I'll still make money on those. So I guess I didn't over overpay. And what, oh, that's something else I bought to keep and I overpaid on it a little bit was that little Coleman grill thing. But I realized that the grill part of it was actually in the lid. And I looked them up just to confirm and they're about $30, $35 online plus shipping. And shipping is another 15 bucks. So I didn't get a super deal on it, but I did save a little money and it's something that I will definitely use. So overall, I am completely happy. The only thing I am not happy about is I guess it was the blade beside that truck bed trailer that brought around 250 or so. The truck bed trailer itself actually sold for about 30 or 40 bucks. So that kind of ruined my, <laughs> it didn't ruin my day, but it, it upset my stomach a little bit thinking that, that it went that cheap. And I even asked all the junkers that were there. I said, did you buy that? No, none of them actually bought it. It was somebody else bought it. And I walked around and I looked at all the numbers that were written down on everything. And that's the only time I see that number written anywhere. So I think it was just a one-off person saw it and it was cheap. So they bought it. I probably would have went up to 300 bucks or so on that trailer, but it is what it is. You can't win them all. There were a few other small things here and there that I probably would have wanted to buy, but you know, it's just, it's at a crazy chaotic situation like that when you're by yourself in the afternoon, especially once my dad left, there was just no way I could do it all. But my truck is rounded, rounded full. I don't have time to unload it today. I don't know if I'll have time to unload it tomorrow, but Monday I got a crazy busy day, so I may have to figure out how to get my truck unloaded tomorrow. I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure this one out. 
I may just have to get up super, super early on Monday morning and go unload this stuff. But with that being said, I will see you guys bright and early on Monday morning. Okay, I'm back. This morning I just had to throw this stuff out of my truck because I had to go finish another job that I was working on and I didn't have time to sort it, organize it, go through it, anything like that. So I just threw it all on the ground, figured I'd go through it later. I don't know everything I bought, like these tubs. I don't know even exactly what all's in these tubs. So we'll go through all this stuff together real quick and see more of what I got. One thing is I was looking these up. I really, really, really should have bought more of those toys off that trailer. I really dropped the ball on that deal. I gave seven and a half bucks for the pair of these. This one here, there's a bunch of these on eBay for about 50 bucks plus shipping. This one here, there's only one of these on eBay, and it's $180 plus shipping. And so I don't know if it's worth that much money or not, but I mean, even if it's only worth 100 bucks, say I get 150 for the pair of those, I only gave seven and a half dollars for them. So I'm pretty stoked. Now this box here that's underneath those came with this box. Nobody would bid on this box. They couldn't even get a $1 bid, so they threw it in with this box. And of course I wanted this old winch truck I thought that was a neat piece, and I don't remember what I gave now. I think it was 12 and a half bucks, something like that. I'll probably get my money back out of probably just that by itself, honestly. And it's got a few other toys in it, just parts and pieces, but people are always needing parts off of stuff like that. Like I say, that'll go in my collection. But let's look through here and see what all we got in the box that nobody wanted. A lot of this stuff, like I said earlier, is just going to go in the scrap, like these walkie-talkies. I have no use for those. Whatever this is, some sort of bicycle horn. Yeah, I don't need that. Let's see, what's in here? Is that a pair of binoculars? Huh, let's see if they're any good. I'll look them up, make sure they're not worth a ton of money. If they're just cheap ones, I'll probably just take them home and give them to my kids, I'll have fun with those. I got this Packard Roadster cologne bottle here. I don't know if that's worth anything or not. We'll look it up. Those usually aren't worth much money. But underneath here, we got a whole bunch of just miscellaneous Hot Wheels. These all look like newer ones, I think. Uh, yeah, 2009. So yeah, nothing old there. But stuff like that, I usually just throw it in piles. Actually, I may just take this home to my, my son and let him destroy them. He always sees me with my vintage toy cars, and he always wants to tear them up, and I never let him tear those up. So I'll take some of these home for him to tear up. But this little bag is full of older ones here. What's the date on these? Yeah, this one's marked 1981. This old station wagon, I believe, is a Matchbox. Yeah, Matchbox 1971. So yeah, there's a few older ones in there. So what I'll do with those is I'll go through them a little bit better, get them out of the package. That one there's newer. But uh, I save up older cars like this, and I'll put them in a group, you know, of 15 or 20 and sell them that way. Yeah, I think the rest of this is just going to go... Well, I'll probably hang on to that. I can always use that. But yeah, most of that there will just go in either the trash or the scrap. I did look up these wooden blocks, and uh, I'm not going to make much money on those. I definitely overpaid at $15. I thought they were going to be worth money because of all the Disney characters. I'd never seen that before. But honestly, I'm looking at probably getting 20 or 25 bucks out of that box. So by the time I figure in the eBay fees and my time and everything like that, I'm probably going to lose money. But that's the name of the game. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I won big on those, so that makes up for that. This crate here is another deal. I got, I think I gave two bucks for this whole thing or something like that. It, was, it wasn't much money. This old Buddy L steam shovel was the main thing I wanted. That's pretty neat. And there's a couple wagon wheels. Those might be something. Got some candle holders. Those are kind of neat. Somebody will probably buy those if I put them in with a bunch of other stuff. And then a bunch of pottery of some sort. I don't know if that's anything or not. Then what's left of a mixer lamp piece and I don't know what that is some sort of sausage something another probably not much value there I'll look it up and see for sure but probably a bunch of that's just gonna go in the scrap I don't know what all is in this tub there's a bunch of stuff that's just scrap like these rollers to get the boat on the trailer 
that's gonna be nothing. Yeah, and stuff like this, just nothing. It's kind of a neat prop. It's a little beat up, but it would work for art. This is the main thing in this tub that I wanted, was this little boat light with the handle on it. That'll sell for sure. I got this tub pretty cheap. I think I gave 10 bucks. I don't know, I could be wrong on that. Maybe I gave more, maybe I gave less. And this light was pretty neat. That's a good piece. Here's a boat speedometer. That's a neat piece. Motorcycle tail light and tag bracket. That might be something, it might not. A lot of motorcycle parts like that, you can still buy brand new for dirt cheap, so there's not a whole lot of value there for used ones, but I will look it up before I pitch it. Here's a boat tie down. Those, if there's a whole set of them, will sell. Here's a boat tack. Guaranteed doesn't work, but it might be repairable or usable for parts. All sorts of stuff down in here. Looks like some more of the rope ties. That's kind of neat. Those designs on it. I don't know if it matches this one or not. We'll find out. No, they're not the same. I guess what I have to do is just dump this thing out and we'll see that way. There we go. Got a little bit more accessible. Here's a neat signal light of some sort. Probably a beacon light. That might be something. Here's a really neat tie down piece. That'd make a good hood ornament for the, or say hood, the nose ornament for the very front of your boat. I think technically you're supposed to have a light up at the front, but you could probably put that up there too or somewhere, I don't know. There's another one of those with a cool design on it. So I got two of those now and another speedometer. That looks like a pretty old one there. And the rest of that just looks like junk that's in here. So uh, unfortunately never did find the other one of these. If you don't have at least a pair, they don't usually sell unless they're really cool like that one there. But we did find a pair of these, so maybe I can just put the three of those together and sell them. Oh, and I found this in there as well. It's a brand new light off of an old truck or something like that. So that'll probably sell. It's a glass light. Like I say, it's brand new. So up here, this box, nobody would bid on this box. And so they threw this Hades heater in with it. Then I ended up buying that for nine bucks or whatever it was. That's a pretty good property there. Uh, I don't know. I don't know exactly what that one's going to be worth. It still turns and it's not damaged that bad, but it's got a lot of surface rust. So I don't know. It's probably worth at least a hundred bucks, maybe more. And then I got this box of free stuff here. Got some old bathtub claw feet. Those aren't worth a whole lot of money. These are kind of neat. They actually are marked Ford on them. So those might be something. I don't know. I'll have to look them up and see. Sewing machine attachments, buttonhole, that's probably just going to be scrapped there. In this box here, we've got some brand new mirrors. The main thing I wanted in this tub was the pair of these right here. They're not perfect, but uh, they're still pretty nice, and they'll sell for pretty good money. I think I gave 10 bucks for the tote, and I'll probably get at least 50, 75 bucks out of the pair of those. In addition to that, here's a brand new Ford cap, so uh, that'll probably sell to somebody. Going on, oh, maybe this is what I had to buy with that Hades heater. Maybe that's what the deal was. I don't remember. I bought too much stuff. But uh, this whole projector here, I'll look them up. I'll try to sell it. I doubt anybody will want it. That there will probably sell. Those beauty rings will probably throw those in the scrap. Beauty rings are really hard to sell. They're hard to identify, and when you do identify them, they're usually not worth much. Uh, these hubcaps, I'll go through and look them up, see which ones are worth keeping, which ones aren't. And of course, a set of Ford, a set of Chevy, two sets of Chevy, or actually three sets of Chevy right there. Those are all decent caps. There's some more of those center caps in there. This box here, I mainly wanted for this right here. But this one's broken, but it's got another one for this side here that's not broken. So well, I guess one of the studs is broken off. So these are probably just going to be scrap. But this piece right here is where I'll make the money on this box. Then that light there, a buddy came up to me. He's like, hey, I bought this for a couple bucks. You want it? He says, I don't really want it, but I thought of you when I bought it because you like old lights. And I said, yeah, I guess I'll take it. It's a halogen, so I don't know if it's worth anything or not, but we'll find out. This piece here, that got thrown in with something that I bought. I don't remember what. I didn't really want it, but... Like I say, it came with something else, so I guess I'll look it up, see if it's worth anything. And then I got my metal donut. That's the main thing I wanted out of all that, that piping and stuff. I just chucked it out of the truck, because honestly, I'm probably not going to do anything with the rest of that. I'll probably just wind up scrapping it. I do make my junkyard cabins, and so I might need it for something at some point. But this is the main thing I wanted here. I held up my hand to say $5, but uh, he got me at $10, so I ended up having to pay 10 for the pile. But it happens. Auctioneers are in a hurry, and they don't always catch everything, and... Completely understandable. I'll make more than 10 bucks on that easy anyway. Either it's a metal donut or it's an industrial wreath. Here's those hubcaps. This box here, this was in something else that I got. I just thought it was kind of a neat horn. And then these here for a 67 Chevelle, I believe. Not worth a ton of money, but a little bit. And then the rest of this is probably just gonna be scrap. Underneath this box, oh, I guess there's a couple fishing reels in there too. I'll look those up, see if they're worth anything. If not, those will get scrapped set of AMC hubcaps. 
And here's the license plates that I probably paid too much for. This one's in the envelope, but it's a used tag. But I mean, there's, there's an assortment of plates here from multiple states, Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas, Arizona, Montana, Georgia. Oh, I thought it was just 666 at first. Nothing I would want, but you know, a lot of people collect stuff like that. Got Nebraska. More of those. So, yeah. I'll be able to make money on them. I won't make a lot of money, but I'll make a little bit at least. And then everything else in there is just going to be scrap. And of course, I picked up the tricycle. That was cheap. All of these vent caps were in that pile where I got the metal donut. I figured somebody will probably want those for art. Got my chicken feeder, water things, whatever they are. And of course, I got this old birdhouse. I didn't plan on buying the birdhouse, but it was five bucks, so why not? Somebody will buy that down in Texas, I'm sure. And then here's all the cans that my dad bought for me. Nothing grand, but at five bucks a piece, I can either cut faces in them and sell them that way, or I can sell them like they are. Here's a neat can here. This didn't come from the auction. My buddy Skyler brought this to me, but I thought that was really cool. That's one there that I'll probably hang on to. There might be some sort of unique art purpose I can do with that. I've got a little bit of time left before I have to head out and go get that car. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring some of this stuff in here and start taking pictures and putting the stuff on eBay. As always, my eBay uh, link will be in the description of this video. Here's a bunch of the stuff that I have listed on there right now. Uh, some of the stuff, all these license plates are sold already. Those are already sold. But I do have, well, this is sold too. So some of the stuff is sold. I need to go through and gather up what's sold right now so I can take it home and package it tonight. But as you can see, I have quite a bit of stuff on there and I'm always listing more fresh stuff. So you definitely want to check it out. You never know what you're going to find. So I was taking pictures of this and I just realized what it is. This is a Corvair pickup. It's missing the little door that goes here on the side, but still that's kind of a unique piece. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. And there we go. Got all my eBay stuff gathered up that sold that I got a package tonight. We've got a bunch of license plates. Uh, this came off a 53 or 4 Chevy car. This is the access panel off the firewall. This is a dome light I found in an old Plymouth. I thought it was just kind of neat. Figured somebody could do something with it. Got a steering knob here. It's kind of rough, but it could be restored. Old carburetor off a of 307. A set of 54 Chevy temperature controls. A thermometer. I got a bunch of these available still if somebody's wanting one of those to hang on the wall. And then a 1976 plate that my wife uh, designed. And then some more license plates out of the 30s. So like I say, there's always stuff getting posted and selling, so it's always fresh inventory. Definitely check it out. And this is why you look everything up. I just looked these up. And uh, Bosch & Loam, I guess, is actually a fairly name brand product. These here are one of their smaller models. They're only 8x24. You can buy these for about 40 bucks used online. So for 40 bucks, I'll probably go ahead and uh, list those for sale and sell those. I, I figured if they're, you know, a, a $10, $15 pair of binoculars, I'd let the kids tear them up and then throw them in the trash later. But at 40 bucks, I'll go ahead and sell them. I mean, those are basically free. Nobody wanted to even bid on that thing. And speaking of things nobody wanted to bid on... This thing here, I didn't know what it was. What that is, is you can test the uh, strength on nails or whatever in a roof. It's called a pull tester. And that one there is rated for, I think, 2,000 pounds or so. I can't find that exact model. It's kind of an older model. But the newer one that's very similar to this, almost identical really, is $650 new. Now, obviously, that one there is not new, so it's not going to be worth nearly that much. But, I mean, that was free. Nobody would even give a dollar for that. And so if, even if I only get 50 bucks for it, that's a pretty good deal, but I'm thinking I'm going to list that for probably 150 or so and see what happens. It's just wild, the stuff that people literally don't even want to bid on sometimes at those auctions. So it looks like I'm going to make a little bit of money on a few of these things. Obviously, stuff like that's going to take a while to sell. And I won't make a, a boatload of money on this sale just because I did buy some stuff to keep for myself. And then the most expensive thing I bought was these steps right here. But I got them set over here, and that's about perfect. It's a nice little step all the way up here. I need to stabilize them a little bit. But now I'll be able to come in here and open this up. Now I can walk right in here, no problem. That is so much easier. Before, I had that cooler set down here and I had to climb on the cooler. Then there's one step down here and then I could hob hobble up in here. But now I can just get right in and out, no problem. Like I say, they're a little bit wobbly. The ground's not completely even. So I need to do something about that, but that's just as simple as putting something underneath that foot over there. Okay, I got most of it put away. Only thing I have left is the hubcaps and the lights and a couple other little things. Nothing that'll get hurt if it gets rained on. I did some just estimating math and I think I'm standing to make somewhere after eBay fees and everything, I'm probably gonna make about 
four or five hundred dollars when it's all said and done so i'm not making a lot of money but i get those steps and that uh, excavator thing and the other stuff i wanted to keep all for free basically plus i make a little bit so it all works out in the end if i hadn't bought that stuff obviously i'd be making quite a bit more i'd be making over a thousand dollars but i had fun doing it and i don't know of any more auctions coming up the rest of this year i'm sure there'll be one or two that pop up but whether or not i make it to any more is highly debatable but stay tuned for the next adventure who knows what's going to happen next thanks for watching and as always i hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day remember to get out there find yourself an adventure we'll see you next time good kelly Thank you.